Guys, welcome back to another video. It is me, the mysterious cameraman, and today I'm going to be reacting and reviewing to the trailer of Spider-Man Alone. So, the last time I did a reaction review to a trailer, it did decent, so I'm just going to do this again. Here we go. Alright. Oh, my sound is on. Good. You want to know something? This is cut together really Life really is cool. like one big equation. It's interesting. You have the people you've lost, your exes, and a crippling desire to answer life's questions. You're wise. And you go round and round in circles, dividing the truth. Subtracting the lies, only this to realize good. things don't add up. You'll drive yourself crazy wondering what went wrong when the answer is simple. You. You messed up in this tangled web of numbers and signs. You messed up in everything. Everyone paid the price. Sometimes I wish I could tell this obnoxious equation. I don't want to solve it. I'm tired of racking my brain over proofs. <laughs> All I want, more than anything in this world, is to finally be left alone. This is very dark. <laughs> But then something calls from beyond. The unanswerable question. The unsolvable riddle. Just begging to be answered. Promising that all the work was worth it. That's easy, it looks good. All the late nights. Tears. Broken pencils. All of it was worth it. And I don't know if that's true. But I'm gonna find out. I just pause it so it doesn't go to another video that I have liked. So, overall, what are my thoughts on this trailer? So, I don't have as many thoughts as some of my other trailer reactions, really. Um, my opinion, at least, it's a pretty strong trailer. It's, it, se it seems very dark. And I'm going to show you my... This is all the fan films I just had to get to. That thumbnail there looks really good. So, I don't know, it just feels like a bit of a downgrade, but it still is really cool, and I think it's made really well. Which is, of course, something I like to see in fan films, because most fan films are, like, kind of iffy on, like, the how they're made, but this is a pretty cool, in my opinion, at least, a pretty cool fan film. And the trailer looks, honestly... Sorry for the ad abrupt c cut there. Um, I did not intend to stop the video. It is that I got a text and I did not remember to turn on Do Not Disturb like I do on every video. So sorry about that. Continuing on what I was saying, most fan films aren't shot as well as I feel like this one is. Like, most fan films really don't do the cinematography. Like, there are a few fan films that I feel have good cinematography and a fan film that... I feel like it's good for cinematography, as I said many times before, is the Mudblood series. But I don't really see any of the Mudblood series in this type of fan film. But in no means do I think this fan film is bad, though. I, I still think this type of fan film is still really enjoyable to watch and things like that. And I also think that this 
even it's going to be shot really well. I think if it's shot really well, it can really go back and forth on what it's going to do. Because I think the story might be good, it might not be, but that's not something you see in the trailer. There's focus on cinematography, and I like that. So besides that, thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry for being a bit, like, messed up and stuff, and see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.